beer review for you here. Abita Strawberry Harvest Lager. Kind of curious to see what this is going to taste like. Uh, I tried Abita before, did a review on it, and I didn't realize that the, uh, they had a little date stamp on the neck. It says here, it's uh, best if used by... 527.15 so not the newest beer on the planet but should still be good I tend to be a big fan of Levita not real big on flavored beers as a general rule but let's see what we got right. open it up a little bit of carbonation to it. Give it a pour. Mm -hmm. About a half, three quarter finger head. Real white. Head kind of fizzy, a relatively light beer, have an orangish, yellowish hint to it, maybe a little bit caramel color to it. Um, not very clear, kind of opaque. Smell, let's see. Very uh, fresh, outdoorsy kind of a smell. Picking up a fruitiness to it. Kind of a dull sweetness kind of thing. Let's see what we got going on here. Not much of a malt flavor to it at all. Very clean, dry finish to it. The man upstairs does not approve of me drinking this beer, apparently. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Definitely got a strawberry flavor going on with it. Um, a little bit of a tanginess. Almost leaning towards slightly. There's a tart. It's kind of tart. A little tangy. A little, uh. A zesty flavor going on with it. Um. Let's see, it says a beta strawberry harvest is a lager brewed with Pilsner and wheat malts and Vanguard hops. Real Louisiana strawberry juice is added after filtration, resulting in a crisp lager with a sweet strawberry flavor, aroma, and haze. And that's pretty pretty descriptive. There's a little bit of a hops, uh, kind of a backbone to it. But it finishes very, very clean. Very clean. Um, the aftertaste is almost non existent, really. There's not any kind of a hint of like a hops aftertaste. You taste the hops a little bit when you're, you know, when you're drinking it, but the aftertaste, very, very clean, very, very dry. Um, a little bit of lacing. Um, very light mouthfeel to it. Um, fairly refreshing beer. Yeah, 
yeah, you can taste the strawberry in it. Strawberry's kind of prevalent up front. But like I said, uh, on the back end, it's not really much anything. It's very, very clean finish. Uh, it's a 4.2 ABV. Um, it comes in a 12 foot ounce. They, they're uh, Sabita Brewing Company. Abita Springs, Louisiana, and that's at uh, abita.com. Um, it's a fairly good sized brewery. They make a whole bunch of, uh, of these style of beers. They make a lot of seasonal beers and a lot of the kind of beers you don't expect a larger brewery to manufacture. Ooh. Um, yeah, that's another thing. It is. It's got a little bit of a carbonation thing going on with it. It's not overly carbonated, but it's, it's got a noticeable amount of carbonation to it. Um, you can see the lacing, but it dissipated pretty quickly, as did the head as well. Um, Light, refreshing, uh, citrusy, a uh, little bit of like a tanginess going on with it. Um, very easy to drink, very clean finish. Um, and uh, as far as the smell, it almost has a outdoor springtime smell thing going with it, to be honest with you. Um, well, let's get the final chug here. I lied, second to final chug. Um, I like this beer for what it is. Um, I kind of lean towards some of the heavier beers, but I also like IPAs, and I like occasional lager and stuff like that. This, this would be a beer that would be good, like a you know hot summer day or coming in from doing a bunch of work outside something like that or just you know hanging around after a barbecue or something like that sipping on something just to cool you down yeah at 4.2 percent volume you'd have to really start chugging these things to catch the one of the nice side effects of alcoholic beverages but also there's no flavor of alcohol to this at all um, but I like it if uh, somebody reached in the fridge and grabbed one and offered it to me I definitely wouldn't object <laughs> last sip was very similar to the first it's definitely a strawberry uh, harvest lager and it kind of pretty much hits all those characteristics pretty proper but uh, alright well I guess I'm going to wrap that up I appreciate y'all watching um, please subscribe if you haven't um, check out some older videos uh, feel free to comment don't be shy of the like button if you like what you saw. I will catch up with y'all later. Cheers.